We have good news this week. Yeah, very good news. We are heading into phase three. Yay! Oh, yeah. Wow, we can meet up to eight people, <laughs> not just five people. Oh <laughs> yeah. You laugh because you don't even want to meet eight people, but it means a lot for someone like me because like my family on its own is already eight people. So right. Christmas is like people's Chinese New Year. Like we visit, I think, mm. I don't know. Like we visit people. So we this year for Christmas is a bit sad. Like we've had to stagger and I can't even go with my whole family to like visit my aunt because there are mm. eight of us. A bit bummed that it's only allowed after December 28th. You just don't want people to get too crazy. La. Yeah, la, but like I said, my family is eight people. Just my family alone. <laughs> yeah, then have dinner with family. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Okay. <laughs> moving so, on, yeah. Capacity for tourism destinations to be increased from 50 to 65%. There's more things to do. Capacity for congregation and other worship services will be increased to 250 people. Total of 10 persons for marriage and solemnization and up to 8 visitors allowed. Live instrumental music allowed in activities except uh, wind instruments. Changes in regulations for indoor live performances. So up to 250 people with zones of 50 people each. It's conservative for a phase 3 I guess because you've been staffed for so long, even water tastes good. La, you know? <laughs> okay, but to be fair, right? Initially, when there was a lot of all this, I was a bit like, ah, there's a lot of rules and regulations. But you can see that um, we are doing very well. You know, if anything, we have proven that Singapore them zai. <laughs> I think our government has proven that they are them zai at what they are doing. La. They know what they're doing and they have succeeded once again. So I don't think there's any question there. And they are very aggressive in trying to recover our economy, which is really, yeah. like they are doing the adult thing. Like, like, like yeah, all fun and everything is important, but let's get yeah. the adult thing done. And everybody has food on the table, everybody has shelter, everybody has a job. I have to say that I'm impressed and I'm definitely on their side. La. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, uh, okay, maybe we can go through some of the concessions for business. Mm. So uh, other than like they are tra- still pursuing travel bubbles, right? They are doing like a short-term business stay for a lot of countries. So they can actually come for 14 days for work. And I think if I'm not wrong, we are one of the first countries to actually be this open, which yeah. means that a lot of opportunities will be here, like, you know, because it's the only place they can actually do things. Like. Initially, we were like, oh, why must do this? Why must, well, everything must control until like that. Okay, so now I see, I understand. Like, so if we are very in control, if anything happens, Happens, they can very quickly kind of stomp it. Lah. I think this was shown in an article that I read last week about the cruise where they mm. reopened a cruise and there was a person on board that was positive, right? Initially, they thought it was a positive lah, because they didn't know it was false positive, but everything yeah. was set in order. All the protocols were done properly. Nobody else were affected. You know, it's like we have planned A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then then they realize it's a false positive. Like, I'm not sure if that's confirmed. Yeah. But anyways, the whole handling of that situation just tells me that like, we are not just like half-assing this thing. I'm glad that they are prioritizing like business travel and our PM actually said we need to still be at the forefront of being like a travel hub for business travel, especially if not, we will soon be forgotten. So I went to Fort Siloso and I remember reading about the Swiss Canal. If you think about it, like that's exactly what happened to the Swiss Canal. Right? It was such an important part of call and then it just became irrelevant. If mm. we continue to be irrelevant as a travel hub, or travel stopover, then we will eventually just be relegated to being irrelevant because people will move on and find other alternatives. Yeah. So I, I'm glad that they're watching out for our economy as much as, of course, health is an issue like, and our, our freedom mm. is an issue. Like. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll have to say overall, we're in a great place right now. I also agree that like we are in a good place and mm. that we are well taken care of. So people are saying, why... 28th why not Christmas there are little hints of like they say like this is phase 3 for now but we'll continue to loosen measures I think because like we couldn't celebrate Hari Raya properly hmm. we couldn't celebrate Diwali properly then now it's like Christmas also to be fair ah, really man yeah I mean that's that's what I'm, I'm hearing la. even being Catholic and being a bit bummed that we can't really celebrate Christmas properly I think that it was quite deliberate because PM also said like let's start the new year on a positive mm. note. So I think it's kind of yeah. like a neutral thing. We have always been very careful, right? Our government has been very careful because they don't want to give the message of like, like, yeah, hey, don't care, idiot. Wow. You know, phase three, that means end of COVID. We can very easily fall into that because we have been 
kind of you know trapped for so long, right? We are waiting for that light at the end of the tunnel. They definitely in their their press statements have reiterated many times: this is a marathon, not a sprint. We yeah. need to like keep up the yeah. measures. Okay, so the second part of what was really talked about, other than the initial like local celebrating that at least we have a little bit of easing up is the point on vaccinations. So Singapore has secured vaccinations with I think three different pharmaceutical companies. They are going to make it free for all Singaporeans, I think in PR, but not free, but not compulsory. Yeah. From my research, right? Like um, it, it is safe. Lah. It's pretty safe. Then again, they are always people who have uh, reactions for vaccination. It's not just COVID, like any flu shot and everything, you know, some people get really sick. So the vaccination has two shots, right? So you take the first shot and then within the next 17 to 21 days, you take the second shot. Um, from what I read, the people who get like a bit of reaction on the first shot, on their second shot, their reaction is going to come down harder, lah, right? So some of the side effects include um, like numbness on the hand, on the arm that you got the injection, the muscle aches, tired. Um, some people run a fever, and basically, they just catch a cold. I just feel like you got the flu. La. Nothing fatal at this point. La. At least no news about that. Uh, but you do be prepared that you might feel like shit for a while. I, I quite like that they didn't make it compulsory. Um, yeah, me too. No, it feels like... They I mean, together. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. by the way, they also like just moving a little bit away from vaccination. Like They're still going on about Trace Together. We're at 70% and they say like they're going to make that compulsory. La. Basically, we will need to use that for safe entry going forward. At the press conference, because I, I watched the entire press conference that mm. they had, one of the press asked why it's not compulsory. Mm. I don't know okay. whether you can think that they should make it, I don't know. But I mean, they said they would like to give people freedom, like, which I think is good because I don't think they should make it compulsory. But from the people that I've, I've talked to, right, most if not all of them are like, yeah, they'll take it. Oh, really? The people yeah. I've talked to, most if not all of them say they're not going to take it. I mean, but <laughs> why not? Okay, first of all, I have to say, we are a rich nation la, because we actually got our hands on quite a, a lot of vaccination, which is very hard pressed. A lot of countries don't even get access to it. They probably only get it like maybe end of next year or something, which is... True, so true. yeah, the fact that our government got it means that we do have influence and we do have money. I am also wary about the side effects because I have a very sensitive body. <laughs> but just understanding that like, you know, like one more person taking it that means one more step towards herd immunity for our nation and eventually for the world then it feels like it's something that is worth doing la, especially when it's already handed to you for free in a golden plate and then you're like ah, I don't want maybe some people just don't really believe in vaccination okay wait, there, wait. Are people, <laughs> no, there are people who go to you mean the, the anti-vaxxers ah but isn't those like conspiracy, as in like those are conspiracy theories? No, 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 right? no, 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 not even. Like, they're just people who don't even want to take medication because they feel like they don't want to put something unnatural on the body. Yeah, la, but like I said, like at this point of time, I don't feel like it's great. La. Okay, you can do that, la, sure, but I, I feel it's slightly irresponsible. I don't I want to get vaccinated, honestly speaking, again. Just like the trace together token, I don't want to do it. I don't take drugs. If I get fever, I get fever. Yeah. I don't care. Either you roll me into the emergency ward or I'm not taking any meds. But I do feel like we should lah we should especially if all the reports are saying it's safe like maybe you will feel like shit for a while but it's safe if everybody just you know sacrifice a little bit which is what which is why we have a oh, very patriotic which is why Singapore has moved so quickly because we all really like bite the bullet lah whether by force or like willingly we we as a nation did that and we are one of the few nations in the world now that can enjoy this kind of easing and this kind of freedom and this kind of um potential to recovery which is something not to be taken lightly the reason why certain people are not keen to take it yet they say let like people other people take it first because they're not sure yeah. about it the ministers they've addressed this proactively without waiting for people to say this they said that they will be the first two to take it like public confidence yeah. is an issue like i mean not just us right because us is rolling it out even faster because they are in much dire state than we are i mean the frontline workers and the elderly they will be the first to take it right? even if we want it now we won't be able to get it so these yeah. people are actually in a way, a guinea pig line. You look at them and everything, and they, you know. Then they are like, "Oh, okay." If the doctors are taking it, and the doctor is asking you to take it, then you will be, you feel more comfortable. I think it will come naturally if you don't do the right thing. If you want to behave like stupid kids, then don't blame the government when they like are very heavy handed, lah. That's where I where I stand. You're coming back soon, right? Soon. -ish. Yeah, I'm coming back. Okay, actually, I want to ask you this because I've been away for a couple of months. So when I moved away, it was phase one going phase two, if I'm not wrong. So actually. 
phase one to phase two, there's quite a bit of difference, right? Like, uh, like the life, yeah. life is more normal. Do you think that there's going to be a lot of difference from phase two to phase three? To be really honest, I don't feel like there's a lot of difference. Mm-hmm. I know that sounds very like whiny, complainy, at the risk of sounding whiny, complainy. Like, I can't help but be a little bit disappointed. La. Like, even something like religious gatherings also are not increased till the 28th. My mom is like really like, like y'all Sad. better stand by because uh, we got uh, the booking is today 3 p.m. literally and she's like y'all better stand by so that we all can get to go to church but I feel like chances are slim because the whole Catholic population is going to try to bid to go to church to go to church right I mean of course things have changed like you can't just drop in in church anymore now it's gotten to the point like quite poor thing no people who don't manage to book they actually wait around outside church hoping that someone drops out I can understand that la. it is rough I guess it's hard because in these times like maybe people you need even more like religious guidance and they're not getting it yeah of course I appreciate dining out as compared to like circuit breaker I don't think I ever need to go back to another circuit breaker yeah right but which is um, what's happening in the US multiple and the UK multiple times it is a really plausible possibility yeah, that like oh circuit breaker second round wow that would be so so rough right true lah as with everything else right how we think and our mentality is very important to our mental health because sometimes I cannot help but feel like I haven't been able to dine out with my family right so at least I guess yeah in a, in a way it would be nice because after this we can actually go out as a family again hmm. eight of us I was hoping for a little bit more like Andy okay I was hoping hmm. for at least the alcohol curfew come on like at least give us you know our bars back or at least till midnight but they are, like, they are doing pilots for the bar and everything right so it, they have their intention like. they have the intention like, but there's nothing been said about freezing the curfew to past 10 30 right? mm. for example so yeah i mean life has changed like you know it's like that is it like on one hand like if i want to really ask me personally do i feel it yeah I, I feel it but on the other hand like i look comparatively and relatively to the world around us yeah life mm. is still pretty good okay. right and like I, i'm trying to just celebrate the small wins like, and i hope yeah. everyone else Amen. will as well i know there are a lot of people who are actually very very down uh, hmm. you know towards the end of the year and it's quite sad la. so I just hope everyone like keps their chin up and just tries it to is, focus on the positive la. this year has been rough but it's good that we are at least ending the year knowing that there's an there's an end in sight there is, la, right? there is. So, and then, yeah, right, I think nobody needs another circuit breaker and yeah, nobody needs another circuit breaker <laughs> I found this um, video on the Pfizer vaccine which I thought most of our vaccine is from Pfizer if I'm not wrong so very detailed information like if you're pregnant can you take the vaccination if you had COVID already can you take the vaccination or if you are having COVID now should you take the vaccination a lot of like small details that we don't have time to go through so if yeah. you're interested you can also go to that video and uh, get the information that you need this is a very whole PSA because mm. I'm curious about the vaccination too and I haven't seen that video so I want yeah. to check that out okay. alright man have a great great last month of the year 202 is yeah. almost at an end I'll see you soon I'll catch you when you're back can't wait to like alright man the soon. Very soon yeah when we can actually walk in nature bye